Hi, I'm Sifu Grant from Darsana Martial Arts, and in this video, I'm going to show you the primary positional elements, including distance, angle, elevation, and tilt, from our Self-Defense and Martial Arts Foundations curriculum. The first and arguably most important positional element is distance. One of the first things we learn to understand about distance is that each strike has an optimal range. And if we are in range for one sort of strike, it's likely that we are out of range, either too far or too close for a different sort of strike. So if you're in range for palms, you're out of range for elbows. Notice also that if you're in range for short strikes like elbows or hooks, you're also in range for clinching. When clinching, the distance between our body and our opponents can be closed entirely, particularly when we start to pressure through our opponent to break structure. It's important to remember that distance is fluid when fighting, constantly expanding and contracting. In a previous video, I showed how to increase the distance while on the ground to get back to your feet. I'll include the link below. The next positional element is angle. The ability to get off line from your opponent's zone of threat and create new lines of attack that are harder for your opponent to defend against is imperative. This exercise is simply called walking the clock in which you take a step to create a new angle moving around and becoming accustomed to the way that your strikes land at each different angle. Here I perform the same exercise in clinching range, focusing on head position and shoulder position and how I would create pressure against the body at each different angle. Again, it's important to become accustomed to what it feels like to create pressure at each one of these different angles and how your body fits against your opponents. The next positional element is elevation. Notice how I change my shoulder line by lowering my hips. This way I can remain covered and punch to a lower target. By lowering my elevation further, I can go in for a shot. Here you can see the elevation of the various transitional postures from standing to ground. Notice also that my head gets further away from my opponent as I move down. The next positional element is tilt, forward and backwards, shown here. When tilting forward, don't go past your toes. Notice also that tilting forward changes elevation, shown here with a bob and weave. By tilting backwards no further than my rear toes, I nearly double the distance from my opponent to my head. Notice here how Bob's forward spinal tilt gives him structural superiority. To neutralize his force, I'll need to lower my elevation and match his tilt. A lateral tilt can be used to slip punches to the head. Notice how I stay within my base. Tilting laterally changes the axis of a hook punch. The same hook punch thrown to a head becomes a body shot with a lateral tilt. Likewise, an uppercut. Tilting laterally can take you offline of your opponent's attack while you simultaneously strike, effectively combining defense with offense. Whether you're striking or grappling, standing up or on the ground, these four positional elements provide a useful framework for negotiating the dynamic changes of a fight. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Now go practice.